Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In nomine Patris et Filius Spiritus Sancti, Gracia Domini Nostri Jesu Christi et Caritas de Communicatio Sancti Spiritus, sit com omnibus vobis. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Oremus. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and the service of your church, Grant her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exalt the revelation of his glory who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. It was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to all Iconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking and looked intently at him saw that he had faith to be healed and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk around. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates together with the people intended to offer sacrifice. The apostle Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are the same nature as you human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. In past generations he allowed all Gentiles to go their own way. Yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave him without himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. Verbum Domini. Alleluia. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven, whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to his children of men. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Dominos for Biscum Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segundum Johannum. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them 
is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to them, Whoever loves me will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Verbum Domini. My brothers and sisters in Christ, what, what more do we need to understand the importance of obedience in our judgment, in our love of God, our love of the Father, the love of the Son, the love of the Holy Spirit? What more than, do we need? Whoever has my commandments and observes them, is the one who loves me. Right? Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. You know, my brothers and sisters of Christ, it is clear we can't dismiss, first of all, we can't dismiss the fact that love is obedience. Love is obedience. That's why I'm always saying, loving, humble obedience, we can't separate them. We're saved by faith. We manifest our faith in loving, humble obedience. And thereby we have the hope, persevering in that loving, humble obedience, we have the hope of eternal salvation. Faith, hope, and love working together. The greatest of these is loving, humble obedience. That is what we will be judged upon in every word, in every action, our obedience. This is how we remain in Christ, and Christ remains in us. All that Jesus taught, all that Jesus commanded. When he says his commandments, he means do this in memory of me. Eat my body, drink my blood, you'll have eternal life. The warnings, right? Everything that he taught. If we obey everything that we taught. Desire to obey everything that he taught. And thank God he understands our human nature better than we understand it ourselves. He understands our human nature. That we're going to sin. We cannot ever give up the desire to obey, the desire to do right, the desire to do good. This is what he's looking for in us. And when we fail, when we fall short, when we sin, his mercy is there. His mercy is available. His mercy is boundless. But we need to ask for it. We need to understand this. This is the, the failing of once saved, always saved. It discounts, discounts the need to be obedient, and it discounts the need for Christ's mercy. And this is, this is very, very clear, my brothers. If I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved, all my sins are forgiven, past, present, and future, then why do I need to obey? And if my sins are already forgiven, why do I need to ask for Christ's mercy? It makes no sense and really does separate ourselves from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, from his love, from his mercy. And so we cannot fall into such foolishness, my brothers and sisters of Christ. This is what Jesus is telling us today. This is a great lesson for all of us. Let us be mindful that if we love Jesus, we will do his will. And that if indeed we don't do his will, it's a sign that at least momentarily we stop loving Jesus. But then by seeking his mercy, he, he again renews his love for us in his mercy. Let us now ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs. And so we offer up this Mass, the particular intentions of this Mass, for all the intentions of the people I said that I'd pray for, 
including those I may forget to pray for, for the intentions of those who pray for us, encourage us, support us each day. Those are the particular intentions. Repose the soul of my son, repose the soul of Michael Sheehan, repose the soul of all the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them, in particular our deceased loved ones and family members. Your intentions, my intentions, our personal intentions, family intentions, health intentions, ministerial intentions for the church, the pope, the bishops, uh, and for all those who are away from the church that they may embrace Christ's sacraments of mercy. And we ask for this. We ask for all good things through the intercession of St. Catherine of Siena, St. Padre Pio, and the Blessed Virgin Mary, in the name of our Lord and St. Joseph, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness, I receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted, God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teachings, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Dominos verbiscum, sorsum corda, gracias agimus domino deo nostro. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to Lord, you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed. The integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, everyone with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fide. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipsum et con ipso et in ipso est tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti in unitate Spiritus Sancti, amnas in all gloria famnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Pax Domino sit semper fabiscum agnus Dei. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If we walk in the light as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another. The blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. Alleluia. On Amos, may the heavenly table which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world is nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Dominos, Rabiscum, Benedicta Vos, Omnipotens Deus, Pater, Filius, Spiritus, Sanctus, Ita, Misa, S. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, 
by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking to ruin us souls. Amen. Rajina Cheli Leitare Alleluia Quia Quam Perodisti Potare Alleluia Resurrexit Sicut Dixi Alleluia Ora Pro Nobis Deum Alleluia Father Stephen and Robert, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Um, please share this video, one share per group, one share per page, Father and Brother Live coming up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Go out to the world today, my friends, and give them heaven.